Welcome back my friends, welcome to another short lecture. What I'm going to try doing here is fixing this part. I don't have any way to go to the profile at the moment. And this is actually located, if you control P, nav.blade, it's inside nav.blade, here it is. Now we do have this guest, else, if and if and else. Now here this is where the drop down occurs. And after the logout, there it is, after the logout, what I want to do is I want to deal, I want to copy this one and I want to recreate something similar. And it will be drop down item. And the route will be user profile index. If I can, uh, here it is, user profile index, and that should go to the user profile. Very good. I remember that correctly. And I'm not going to have any on click here events or anything like that. That's on click event. And I don't need this logout. So I'm going to open iClass here with FA, FA Cog. And you will see what that means. And I will just say user profile. Let's refresh your F5. I hope I didn't mess it up. Here it is, user profile. So when I click it, it's shooting me straight to the user profile. Very good. This is what I want actually here. So if you don't want, you just type it user profile without this I class. It's optional. So if I cut it, here it is, user profile. But for some reason, I do want to have it in, yeah. You can also put a margin, margin top like four. Let's see what's happened. If that margin is gonna be applied or not. Yeah, there it is. It's gonna have, or you can add a padding if you want. Padding four, and let's see, that's it. Now, this looks ugly. I'm gonna return it back as it was this wasn't in my files with the original one that I've created but user profile it's better like that now I can go back here this is what we have to change in order to strike straight go to the user profile so not much I hope you enjoy this short lecture uh, I don't have uh, many of these but yeah now you can enjoy one of these right so thank you very much and I hope to see you in the next one